25 year old American runs in lane two. Alexis Holmes will be in lane number three. She was a NCAA champion, a 4x400 meter runner with the Kentucky Wildcats a year ago. An All American for Kentucky running in three. Paula Moran from Mexico will be in lane number four. Nine time Mexican national champion who made the semifinals of the Tokyo Games in 2021. Nicole Yergin, 25 year old Brit, will be in five. First outdoor 400 of the year for her. She ran in that Tokyo final as well. And again, as you mentioned, several. As they walk back from those final runouts, and get ready to take one trip around this blazing fast surface. Wildcat is they. You're on West End Avenue in Nashville. We've got NCAA champions, we've got world medalists, we've got one lap to decide it all from the 2023 Music City Track Carnival where Nicole Yergin in lane number five is out quickest through the first hundred meters here in Nashville. And Nicole Yergin running in lane number five already making up that stagger on Courtney Acolo to her outside. Alexis Holmes running very quickly in lane number three, the former Kentucky Wildcat as they make that long turn there on the home stretch. And it is still anybody's race as they race for the line. Courtney Acolo in there as well with Yergin still in the mix. And Holmes looking fantastic down this home stretch. Pardon the pun. She is powering towards that line, and I don't think she's going to be caught. And she won't. The 23-year-old American Alexis Holmes first to the finish, 50.58. A new personal best for the 23-year-old American. So personal best for our top two, 55-8, 58-5. And again, that means that both Holmes and Moran are under that World Championships qualifying standard of 51 seconds flat. Two more stunning performances in what has been a thrilling day of competition here in Nashville. 50-58 and 50-85. Terrific runs there in the women's 400-meter dash as that finish was really never in doubt for Holmes. Did such a good job running that curve and speeding to the line. Well, and again, I know it's a relative term, but her endurance in this event really showed, as you said, over that final turn and into the last 100 meters. It's a bit back and forth before that, and, and you know, another example of why this level of competition just pushes everything.